Smoke a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. Y'all know what the fuck we doing, man. It's Hot Thoughts TV. Niggas hot in the beach, man. I'm smoking a purse so sweet with Hot Thoughts TV. We were talking earlier, you know, you were brought up um, that you basically, like, you had went dumb when you did you did an interview with Bust Down. Shout out to Bust Down. Yeah. And you said that you had turned up on the ass a little bit. So, what what exactly happened with that? Nah, that was a... That was just shit. I only went viral because niggas just didn't like what I had said. Niggas took it like on some disrespectful shit. Whole time I'm just saying what I do. Like, you know when you like say, like, I don't like fake jury. So I had said that I, like, a lot of niggas wear fake jury type shit. Yeah. I just seen a lot of niggas come out here and wear fake jury. So I, I said that and that made a whole all of Houston. So, I mean, how I feel about this shit, it is what it is, like. So, you're saying niggas was fucked up with you because you said you don't like that niggas come out here wearing fake jewelry? I just don't like fake jewelry in general. Oh, okay. But I was like, the capping out here is crazy. Like, it's it's capping that I never seen going on until I came out here. Oh, shit. okay. I see what you're saying. Like, Y'all having whole hood stores and shit like that? Like, a whole store full of fake shit? Hell no. Yeah. Hell no. Like, well, I had never heard of that type shit. So, when I came out here and I heard about shit, I'm like, it's crazy. I ain't, if so, I said, I just don't like Capri like that in general. I don't believe in fake it till you make it type shit. No, nah, thanks. I'd rather get, i stay down. I'd disappear and be plotting the whole time. Like, you thinking I'm just relaxing? Hell no. Nah, like, Pop back up with the, the Five. real shit, yeah. yeah. Every time, like, I ain't finna, I ain't finna just go out here and go cop fake shit, fake designer, fake woo woo, just to make it seem like I'm super paid up. Bro, I stay the fuck down, go hustle, go find me a way to make some bread, go buy the real shit. Yeah. So I had noticed, like, just my. A, a few years ago, you did a video and Fat boy was in there, ho. How did that play out? Shit, I really, uh. I got with Fat Boy through a white boy named Jonah Rain. Hey, yeah, it's a nigga out of Florida right now. Uh. Nigga had hit Jonah. And was like, you know what I'm saying? Come on, 12 with me tight shit. Me and Jonah had just fucked the summer up. And uh, we did like two songs, three songs type shit. We went crazy. One of them got like 20K yeah. on YouTube right now. And uh, when we went out there, we just we just started fucking with bro. Bro was fucking with us. So he let us be on the tour the whole time. So we was on tour with that nigga in that video. We was in St. Uh, St. Louis? Yeah. yeah. St. Louis. No, he wasn't. He was in the D still. Yeah, I think we was in Detroit. I went to the. So, you mentioned uh, like hustling. You know what I'm saying? Getting to the bag. Uh, after seeing, you know what I'm saying? Which nah, is my, hold on, my fault, bro. We was in Detroit in that video, and some nigga tried. With random strippers outside. Hey, look, let's talk about that. Hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, them, they had random strippers outside. I don't know what the occasion was. Nobody else shot a video but me. Random as fuck outside on the corner on guy. So try house. Oh, you know, out in Detroit, all their houses is fucking like two story. Yeah. Two story crib. Strippers outside just dancing. I'm like, yo, fuck going on? Them niggas, shit, we just got them out here. We just be having them some time. Damn. What the <laughs> fuck? It's crazy. But, nah, my fault. You can go ahead. Nah, nah, you good. So, uh, you mentioned, like, you know what I'm saying, hustling throughout your life and then growing up and witnessing that and then seeing, like, how that shit can play out. Uh, have you ever had any of them close calls? In in your life or moments where you felt like, man, I might leave that shit alone. As far as like close calls or something happened to me, type shit. Yeah. Uh not enough show and no shit. 
not not even at a show, but you know what I'm saying, like, you know, you hear all the stories of like uh, niggas hustling and like whether they send a set up bitch or however play up, like, you know what I'm saying, hey, where they try to take a nigga down or, uh, or, or the laws try to take a nigga down, any of them type of close calls or hey, you know, have you been fortunate enough not to have any of that? I mean, of course, you know, try, the streets have its streets, uh, trials and tribulations, as any job. Yeah. Tight shit. But that job just tend to be, uh, you know, you can't have what the next motherfucker do. Right. Tight yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, cause I feel like everybody who done been in it, especially if they was in it for a long time, and seen us, you know, at least seen it by somebody else that they fuck with in it. Yeah, okay. definitely done seen plenty of situation. RP my nigga BB, I got him tatted on me, man. like the same situation, set up shit. Like, but never know, bro. So being in Houston, what's your thoughts on like the the Houston culture, the music scene out here? Like, is it is it easy to? get in the mix or you feel like still trying to find your way i feel like the mix i hear big as fuck yeah so it's really on some shit like i feel like you can get stuck in between so many like pointless situations you get what I'm saying? Like it's a whole bunch of people individually doing shit to where you thinking it's some shit and it's really not. It's really not nothing. Yeah. So you, you but you not even, you making a jab step. You know what yeah. I mean? You are not even going forward. Like it's just not what you think it is. So yeah, hell yeah. I think you gotta really fuck with the right people. Like. How do you gauge like who the right people is though? Shit on the cool. Niggas who just uh, I feel like just go where you want it. Thanks. You know what I'm saying? Go where you want it, so that way it can turn into some shit. Yeah. Potentially, you feel what I'm saying? Even if it don't that one time or two times, something may out of the maybe the third, fourth time you meet somebody. And this shit go for like something bigger than what you expected. Yeah. Nobody had a, a fucking plan or yeah, this exactly gonna happen, this exactly gonna happen to get where they at. Yeah. So it's like it be them unexpected situations and just chain of events that make niggas, you know, do special shit. Yeah. So I just feel like go where you want it, bro. And uh don't don't allow no weird shit to be uh, you know, a lot of niggas are tried like I don't really, I, I, I was about to say fuck niggas with, with status, but it's like, them niggas be weird, fool. I'm not even gonna cap too, like, I'm not even gonna say weird, bruh, but like, some people may try to hold some shit on your head about, like, you know what I'm saying, making you work with them. It ain't gonna be, it might not be no genuine shit. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, sure. Man, man. Yeah, just go where you want it, bro. So we we damn near it's August, like yeah. So what's that? That's like damn, we damn near through the year. Like, what else do you got lined up twenty twenty four as far as like you know music? I know you got your own brand too. Oh yeah, fact. I got some of that shit on me actually. Some of that shit on me. Yeah. So how long that brand been uh, in the works? I really did my first, my first drop back in like 2019. Yeah. 2018 type shit. I did my first drop. And then I ain't do no other drop. Maybe till like a year later. So I dropped again and then people was fucking with it again. So I just started my shots and I'm like, I'm gonna make it a thing now. Yeah. So. I've been dropping shorts, man, like little sets, shorts and shorts. I just got some shorts in, man. I'm finna put some patches on them and shit. And we done. Yeah, so, um, let the people know, like, where they can find you at. 
Money Making Misfit, man. That's the brand on Instagram. And then uh, Billy Bands 3. I need to text a nigga who got that name, the original one. Yeah. You gotta give me my shit. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, if you got them, got any last words for the people, you wanna pop your shit? Shit, man. How thoughts? Them niggas was tripping when God was here. Fuck make you think they ain't gonna trip on you. It's crazy.